Hey everyone, it's been a long time. I am back with another sample of the day video. So I'm super excited to be back and doing these because I have so many samples that are in bags that I need to test. Um, today we're gonna be testing this one here. This is from Erin and this is called Tangier Vini. Um, I tested this, it's been years ago, probably six or seven years ago at this point. Um, and I remember really loving how it smells, but it just did not last very long on me at all. It didn't perform well. So because of that, I never really kind of gave it a second glance, especially because it's quite a pricey perfume. Um, these Aaron perfumes are very expensive. So this one, let's see here. This one says, Tangier Vini opens a secret door that leads you into the mystery and splendor of Morocco, from the palaces and gardens to the legendary bazaars. The heart of Madagascar vanilla glides through top notes of crisp, sun-drenched Italian bergamot and the richness of Bulgarian rose. Velvety amber adds a sensual golden glow, while smooth sandalwood and feather-soft musk wrap the fragrance in a final veil of mystery. So I am really excited to test this one again. Um, I did pick this uh, sample up from FragranceNet for I probably between three and five dollars or something. Um, you guys will have to let me know how the audio is on this video as well because I'm in my new studio. This the ceilings are very high in here. It's very echoey, and I don't have a microphone on my phone yet. So um, I am gonna work on that. But anyways, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, you definitely get the just rich, beautiful, almost kind of like a spicy, the Madagascar vanilla. I don't know what, there is something spicy in this. It's really, really reminding me of the same vanilla that you get in, um, what's the Van Cleef and Arpels one, Orchidé Vigny. Yeah, it's definitely the same kind of vanilla that you get with Orchidé Vigny. In fact, I feel like I feel like this really smells very similar to Orchid Avenue. Um, there's a spice in here. It doesn't say what kind of a spice it is, but it's something warm like cardamom. I would guess. I would really guess it's cardamom. Um, there's a it's a beautiful warm spice though. Again, that same really beautiful, rich. Uh, vanilla that you get in Orchid Avenue that is not overly sweet at all. It's slightly woody. There's a little bit of woodiness in this, maybe some cedar or something. It's like a dry woodiness. This is not overly sweet. This is not a gourmand vanilla in any way. This is a perfumey vanilla. This is gorgeous. The amber is beautiful. It's a light amber. It's not a um, heavy amber. It's not a powdery amber. This is beautiful. This is right up my alley. Um, would I want a full bottle of this? Yes, because I love the way it smells. Do I need a full bottle? Probably not because it is very similar to uh, Van Cleef and Arpels Orchid Avenue to me. In fact, let me go grab Orchid Avenue and um, I'm gonna test them side by side. Okay, I've got Van Cleef and Arpels Orchid Avenue here and I'm just gonna spray this on my other hand just about as much as I did of the Tangier Vini. Oh, I got dust in my nose. They're definitely very similar. Um, the, or the Tangier Vini is maybe a touch sweeter. Of course, it is further in the dry down than the Orchid Avenue. The Orchid Avenue will, um, it will sweeten up a little bit but then you get the chocolate with the Orchid Avenue. That's what makes this fragrance so special is the chocolate in it. And now it's sweetening up a lot. Definitely very, very similar. Um, not so similar that I feel like I wouldn't want a bottle of both of them in my collection. I definitely would. Um, they're just, they're both gorgeous. They both have this really beautiful, like warm spiciness to them. They both have a really beautiful woodiness to them. They're both, oh my gosh. 
Yeah, they're both really beautiful, slightly sweet vanillas. They're different, but they're kind of in the same family, if that makes sense. Oh, they're really beautiful. The Orchid Vanilla is actually sweetening up to be even a little bit more sweeter than the Tangier Vanille. I love them. I love them both, but this is really, really gorgeous. Um, I'm going to have to give this a good wear test and I'll put it in a what I wore last week video and let you guys know how it performs because I know like six or seven years ago when I tested it, it was like body spray on me basically. It didn't perform well at all. So I'm going to retest this and um, see if this works any better. My I had a skin chemistry change last September. so. Things are just different on me now. Um, perfumes that I've been wearing for years smell differently on me now, perform differently. Um, so I'm gonna see what this one's like. But anyways, you guys, that is Erin Tangier Vanille. That is a stunning fragrance. If you are a vanilla lover like I am, um, it's definitely worth checking out. It's not a gourmand vanilla though, so if you're a gourmand lover and you love gourmand vanillas, um, this one might not be for you, but I really, really love this one. I think it's gorgeous. So anyways, yeah, that is that one. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.